Use our default couriers and rules functionality to automatically allocate your imported orders to your desired courier and service. In this tutorial, we'll run through a specific example of how to set up default couriers for domestic and international orders for standard and express shipping. At first, when you import your orders into Starship It, you may wonder why there's no courier or service associated with them, even though you've integrated your couriers to your account. We can, of course, go into the orders to allocate a courier service manually, but let's make use of Starship It's powerful automation features which can allocate couriers in several different ways. The most basic and important setting for courier allocation is default couriers. This allows you to set default courier services for international and domestic orders as a fallback for any order which is not allocated to courier through a rule. To set up these defaults, first go to settings and then couriers. At the bottom of the screen you'll see options for international and domestic couriers. In this example, I'll set Australia Post as the default for both. Next, we have to go into the courier settings. Each courier will have a product code section showing the services associated with each. Select the service you want to use as the default. Now that you have the default options set, you may want to create additional rules. In this example, allocating express shipping orders to an express service. In order to set up a rule, we need a condition that will trigger an action. For our express shipping rule, the condition will usually be the shipping method, but depending on your integration setup, this could be the shipping description. These fields are imported from your e-commerce platform. You can see which field is being imported by clicking into an order and checking which field is populated in the top right hand corner. In this case, we're using the shipping method. Let's jump into the rules engine and create the rule. Navigate to the rules area and click add a new rule. Select shipping method, contains and type express. Because we're setting up express shipping rules for both domestic and international orders, we need to add a second condition. In this case, destination country name contains Australia. My action for this rule will be set courier and product code, value Australia post and express. Now we need a rule for every other country. An easy way to do this is to change the condition to does not contain. Now let's run our rules. This will apply to all of our imported orders, but if there's no orders that match our criteria above, Starship it will fall back to the default setting we set up earlier. Jumping back to the order screen, we can see that our Australian order is set to a domestic service, and we have two International Express shipping orders which have been assigned to the appropriate service. Check for links in the video description and visit our knowledge base for more helpful tips and tutorials.